So today we're going to work on getting the rods from the brake pedal back to the brakes to see if we can get the brakes functioning. This time on ECRN Garage we're going to be working on the Harley. I just uh, stuck the headlight on there. Did a lot of research and it turns out we have the wrong bracket for this machine. It's for an earlier model. The uh, headlight bracket is supposed to have a bar across here that hooks the horn that hooks down to the front fender. So I just stuck that on there just to see what the headlight would look like. And I balanced it out with my old Klein screwdriver. In a pinch I just cut it off and thread it and use it to hold the headlight on. But we'll see if we can get that other bracket. Everything should fit a little better. So today we're going to work on getting the rods from the brake pedal back to the brakes to see if we can get the brakes functioning. Did a few changes to the shop. Got this nice little RX-7 FB poster. I put in a little frame. And uh, got a couple new things organized the garage a bit. I got this Milwaukee radio. A buddy of mine was going to toss it out. The radio works fine. The battery doesn't charge up. Built a little shelf for my compressor, welder, new garbage can for metal and or oily rags. And uh, there's the Harley on the left. Mountain bike. Pretty soon that dirt bike will be going. I'll be taking the head off to BSA. Get the, the leak fixed up for the season. And then hopefully... The race bike, I can finish that up when the spring comes and have somewhere to race it. And my new stool that I got for Christmas. And here we have a couple, two of the brake rods. The shorter one goes from the pedal to the intermediate arm and the long one goes back to the wheel. So I got some washers and cotter pins that will hold all these in place. And it has a screw type adjuster. Gonna put the rods in for the brake pedal. Assembly on. We'll start with the pedal first. Just put some washers and cotter pins in there. Hold them in place. Nice. Looks like these were powder coated, but it looks like they may have been drilled out. Or somebody maybe made one of them or more of them. It looks kind of kind of rough. It may have been broken at one time and then somebody modified them. But they'll serve our purpose. Sorry, my head's in the way. It's hard to get in here. It's hard to set the camera up in the right direction to get this. To try to get the whole shot in, so. There's the first rod for the brake pedal, and then there's this little uh, intermediate joint here. And then the main arm with the adjuster goes to the back brake arm. Let's push this in here. Some more washers and cotter pins, and that will be installed. It's pretty 
cold here today. It's minus seven in the garage, same as outside. I got my little propane heater on, trying to take just the dampness off. Best I got now, it does a good job for what I need to do. Let's see if we can get this last one in here. I guess I can't see. Gotcha. All right, that's both to both brake arms on. There's quite a bit of room for adjustment for when you move the wheel back and forth. There we go. I see it's hitting on the exhaust a little bit here, but I'm not sure if that exhaust is totally fit in properly. I didn't put the exhaust or any of this on. The stuff was on it. When I got the bike, so it may need a little bit of massaging here to let that pass by. But we'll get to that when we we'll cross that when we get to it. A lot of this bike's going to have to have a lot of adjustments done to it. So once we get further along and more parts, I'll. Starts sorting out the the, uh, the little details. I tightened up a bunch of stuff on the back end today, the fender, the back wheel, just so I could get this sort of half organized to try and do something. So there's the adjuster there, you just spin this in or out, depending if you when you adjust your chain, you probably have to adjust the tension on your brake to make sure everything reaches. So that's it for that part of it. I was going to put the clutch cable on, uh, I did a little bit of work with it, but another part of the puzzle, here's the, the clutch cable here, this bracket here has been repaired a few times and had a bunch of hole, different holes drilled in it, so when I fit this bracket on, I think the cable's been modified, it's a little bit shorter, and the bracket holes don't really line up with the stock mounts on the bike. And I looked at a stock mount picture in a book, and it has these bolts, one on either side of the frame, and there's a bracket here on the frame that has two holes that would hold this steady, so when you're pushing on the foot pedal, it's not rocking, there's actually something's missing or I don't know what they did with this but it should be like a U shape with two bolt holes right in here so it locks this two piece so that when you activate the clutch this piece can't rock so anyway that's just another piece you're going to have to to source and also I know with all the friction plates for the clutch pedal I don't know if they're in one of the boxes, I haven't checked yet. So I'm going to have to go look in there to see if the bushing and all the friction plates for the clutch are in there. If not, we're going to have to get those ordered sourced somewhere too. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. It's a little short one today. It's been really cold out here. I just, uh, it was too cold to be working out here with the little bit of heat that I have. It's not worth wasting all the propane for the little bit of time. But it was a little nicer today. So I'm going to get the the horn slash headlight bracket, uh, clutch cable, check for the friction plates. I'll start piecing all that stuff together. And then after that, oh, let's see what's on my list. I still have to decide whether I'm going to get 
I see that there's a company, 45 Restorations, uh, they're not sponsored or anything. They supply a lot of parts for these bikes, and I'm thinking the, all the throttle pieces are missing on this whole bike. But they make a Makuni kit, and you would have an external throttle, but it comes with a manifold to convert it to the Makuni car, uh, the throttle cable. All the pieces you need to have a modern carburetor, which probably wouldn't hurt on one of these old bikes to help it run and start a bit better. Uh, the kit's a bit pricey, but I don't need all of it, so I'll talk to the owner to see what he thinks about that. And I don't have the internal cables for the Advance either, but that might not be too bad. But we may go with the... He wanted to put a Honda carburetor on this anyway, but I found this kit and the stuff is already made for this Makuni, so... We may just go that route and it would definitely speed things up quite a bit. And I gotta source some brackets for the coil as well. They're substantially kind of clamp brackets. I've been going through the parts book lately and found a lot of things that uh, we're sort of missing. So that's going to be the next few steps. So when I get a few more parts in, we'll do some more on this bike. And next time we'll be working on the BSA, taking the uh, valve covers off of that. I have to heal the coil a couple of studs in. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.